Hello Internet and welcome to this day in history for the 7th of November. Today we go back to 1665, the early years of the British restoration of the monarchy after the civil wars and the rule of the Republic under Oliver Cromwell. What happened today in 1665? Well, for the first time, the London Gazette was published. The London Gazette is, in the end, really nothing more than the British government's state press its state's newspaper. Not meant that in the way that it is a newspaper as we understand it, actually publishing stories and news such as we would understand it today, but rather a place where the British government can publish and have for the last 350 odd years published stories such as what legislation is now taking place, whom have been giving orders and bans of merit by the king, what has the king decided that his government should do, what is the government doing regarding foreign policy, this battle has been fought, this military officer has been promoted, and so on and so on. What is interesting about the London Gazette is that, to a certain degree, it can be seen to be the oldest still existent newspaper, or at least magazine, in the world. Or, at least in the English-speaking world, it's somewhat difficult sometimes to discover the thing. But we will call it the first and still existent newspaper-style publication in the world, which of course means that its publishing in 1665 is a landmark in the concept of both mass media as it has developed into today, as well as making the people participants in the governance of a given realm. Of course, in this particular case, basically just making sure that the people who were able to read, write, and purchase a newspaper would happen to know what other people of their same social class had been doing, so they could think and talk about it. So not exactly perhaps the kind of newspaper, again, as we talked about that we had today. However, it has done a couple of things. First of all, the reason it's called an officer is being gazetted as something, for instance, Captain Bunbury is being gazetted major in case he receives a promotion, especially a promotion temporarily, is because such a promotion would have to be published in the London Gazette by the government, in this particular case, of course, in England, by the Horse Guards, the supreme site of command for the British Army. And that has gone into the English-speaking language in general, both in the UK and in America, an officer being gazetted into something, which stems from this situation. But anyway, yes, again, short and to the point, the London Gazette, first published on this day, the 7th of November, 1665, the oldest extant kind of newspaper in the world and the first attempt of the government to create a mass media voice for itself in the Anglo-political world. I hope this has been of interest to you. Until next time, I have been The Sage, and I wish you all a very happy day.